gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone and thank you for coming to my channel that's Deb Chanel's 48's World and thank you so much for your love and your support of my channel okay and that means when you come over here you subscribe you like you share my videos you are supporting me and I thank you for that so remember to continue to like share and subscribe to my video channel okay well let's hear let's go into a must see TV review of a must see video that I just put together on behalf of myself and commentary I'm getting from Celebrity Insider. It has a story given us uh, that, who brought this story out? Uh, Susie Kerr, she's over there. She's an employee of Celebrity Insider, journalist, co um, commentary type person. She's breaking out a story and she's giving us a title of, oh, my phone not working right. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey knows exactly who she wants to officiate her wedding to Mike Hill. Child, this woman done went crazy. She talking about she want Steve Harvey, of all people, to be her officiating minister, pastor, rabbi. I don't know what he's doing and why is she asking him to officiate the wedding. I mean, he's going to go get an honorary uh, degree or official stamp. Or, or some type of class he's going to have to take to go and officiate the wedding proceedings. I don't understand. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be a real wedding. Maybe that's what they really want. They don't want to be married. So instead of her doing like Kenya falsifying it, she pretty much faking the fault herself. Because uh, unless Steve gets some papers deeming him to be an officiate, to be able to pronounce someone husband and wife, I don't see how it's going to be a legal thing going on. But y'all get in the comments and let me know what you thought about she asking um, for Steve Harvey to officiate her nuptials. Ah, Cynthia, I tell you, that's why she ain't playing. She ain't playing right now. She's sitting on the bench. We got her benched out. She getting a paycheck, but she's on the bench, okay? Oh, she's not going to be the number one player, new number one starter. But let's get into the article that... Um, in Celebrity Insider brought out to us on this particular story. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is busy planning her wedding to sportscaster Mike Hill. And she knows exactly who she wants to officiate the ceremony. Steve Harvey. The man who brought them together. Bailey recently revealed her desire for Harvey to be, to be a part of the ceremony. And it could definitely happen because Harvey has officiated a wedding in the past. My thing is, can anybody get the knowledge of who, where he officiated, and are they still together? And can you find it in public record <laughs> in that state, county, or country? Okay. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know why Cynthia keep coming up with this stuff. She just, oh, I mean, why you don't get Candy Burris? dad to officiate your wedding he's a known minister been practicing for ages and a day and he's well known of what he's doing and the laws that permit him to do certain things so what are you saying cynthia you just gonna go and just get somebody like steve harvey that did one wedding before so you're gonna tr entrust him to do your wedding and probably the marriage license never reached the public record office meaning you might be married on TV, but you're not really married in real life. I mean, what, what kind of games are you playing with us, Cynthia? What kind of games are you playing with us or me in general, okay? But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, according to Too Fab, Bailey shared her thoughts on Harvey when she was at LAX, uh, saying, I would love to have Steve Harvey there. I mean, he's the reason why we met. Well, I stop, boy, Cynthia. I thought you were saying how y'all met was from the grace of the Lord, okay? I thought you said that the Lord brought y'all together. And, and now you're saying Steve Harvey brought y'all together? Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused, Cynthia. But going back to the article, it said, Balin Hill met for the first time back in April 2018 when they both appeared on Harvey's talk show for his version of the dating game. Three eligible bachelors answer questions with the hope of scoring a potential date with Bailey. But the 52-year-old says that at first, Another guy caught her eye because he was from Atlanta and had a home court advantage. I'm very grateful. Mike and I are very grateful that we met, said Bailey. 
who meets on a daily sh who meets on a dating show and it works out. Sidebar, Cynthia. Technically, you didn't just meet him, according to Claudia Jordan and Atlian and a lot of other bloggers. They caught you in a lie right there. You actually had met uh, Mike Hill some time ago before occasion uh, this occasion or engagement you met on the Steve Howard show, and Steve just brought him in. No, the connection was made far back, somewhere back in the past. So don't try to lie now. We caught it, we understood it, and we moved on. But you still in la 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 land. Okay, going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. Uh, she goes on to say Bailey added that she would love for Harvey to be the officiate of her wedding, but she hasn't had the chance to ask him yet. She also revealed that her wedding day is perfect because it will take place on October 10th, 2020. And having Harvey marry them would make it more perfect and give their courtship a happy ending. Well, since then, my sidebar again. Okay. If you haven't asked him, hell, I'm sure social media have definitely gotten to somebody, his reps, his team, so they actually know about it. So I'm thinking that's just a piss poor excuse for you because you really honored the man and you paid, wanted to pay homage to him for bringing Mike into your life. Girlfriend, guess what? You could have picked up the phone, called his uh, connections. His uh, agent or whoever, or if y'all were good friends, hell, you should have his number on speed dial. But, yeah, you could have asked him before you brought it to the social media platform, but you didn't do it that way. Okay, that's why you sidelined in my book. You riding the bench. Okay, girl, because you just don't do things correctly in order. Okay, going back to the article, it says... In 2017, Harvey got ordained in the state of New York to marry Maria Menuas and Kevin Undergaro in a ceremony that took, pl took place in Times Square and was broadcasted live on television for Harvest New Year's Eve special. See, Steve only got officiated to do that because he wanted to make some dollars. Y'all say coins, but I can't live off coins. I try, I try not to live off coins. I want dollars in my life. Dollars! Benjamins especially. Okay? But anyway... That was in 2017, 2017, that this is going to be 2020. That means he ain't had a wedding that he presided over in four years. And now you want him to officiate yours. What do you got to do? Go back and read the playbook on how to marry someone legally? Girl, Cynthia, this whole marriage thing that you got cooked up with Mike Hill uh, and Steve Harvey introducing you to this man. It seems like a sham. It seems like a scam. And you're trying to actually bamboozle, hoodwink your followers, fans, or however you want to see us. Okay, I'm just a, a viewer. I'm not a follower, and I'm not definitely not a fan. But, okay, girl, since you on the Real Housewives of Atlanta team, we have to treat you accordingly. But right now, you're benched in my book, okay? And it, it seems like you need to be... Woo, child, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I, kidnap is coming to my mind, you know, take it to another island and, and, and kind of get you deprogrammed in some ways. I, you know, I'm just saying, Cindy, because you're not really thinking straight. You want to marry Mike Hill, who's an opportunist. Then you want Steve Harvey, who is a comedian, <laughs> officiate your wedding. He only did a wedding four years ago. That was just one under his belt, but yet you want him to marry you and you want us to think it's going to be legit. Really, girl? Really? Okay, going back to the article, it uh, goes on to say, as Real Housewives of Atlanta fans know, Bailey was married once before to a club owner, Peter Thomas, and the breakdown of that relationship played out in front of Bravo cameras. She also she has also turned down proposals from Russell Simmons and NBA former player Jason Williams. Wait a minute, let's go back to Russell Simmons. I never knew Russell Simmons had uh, asked you to marry him. Okay, that's a new one on my book. And I guess it's glad you ought to be praising the Lord that you didn't get a hold of him. Because guess what? He don't know how to keep no woman either. So you would have been an ex as well. But moving back to the article, it says Bailey is the mom of 20-year-old Noel, who she shares with ex Leon Robinson. 
and Hill is the father of two daughters. In addition to planning their upcoming wedding, Bailey and Hill are getting ready to launch a dating show called The Hookup. Oh, now we got a title to y'all show. It is called The Hook Up. Okay. Mm. Woo, child. Cynthia Bailey stars in new episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which air Sunday nights on Bravo. Okay, y'all know y'all got to get down in them comments because Cynthia is still doing stuff that's just not kosher. <laughs> it don't make sense. I mean, yes, she's going to get married. She's going to do what she want to do. It's her life. Let her live it. I'm all there for it. But when you put it in the social media realm, the social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Scruff, or whatever out there, Tumblr, People are going to put their spin on it and they're going to make their opinions known. Of course, you know, my platform is all about that freedom of speech, speaking your mind, getting into commentary, voicing your opinion. So I voice mine. So I'm waiting for you all to voice you all's opinion about the subject matter. Get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about Cynthia asking Steve Harvey to officiate her wedding nuptials when he only did one wedding. That was four years ago. What is she thinking, y'all? What is Cynthia Bailey thinking? Okay. But that's all I have for this video. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Let's blow up together. See you next video. Bye-bye.